Get ready for it guys because a true comfort food classic is about to mix it up with some truff goodness. That's right, you saw the title to this one. Today's review is going to feature the all new truff mac and cheese over here at Popeyes. So stay tuned because it's up next for you. I'm Ian Kay and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. Oh yeah, true comfort food classic guys. Mac and cheese is one of my all-time favorites, if not the all-time favorite ever since I was a kid. A beautiful situation and Popeyes does it pretty well over here, but when you mix it up with truff goodness, guys, I think this is gonna be pretty tasty. And as you can see just by this initial close-up, a very lovely combination of goodness with this one. Let me break it on down for you fully before we get right into it. Well, you can't tell me this doesn't look pretty tasty just on the outset, guys. It looks pretty awesome without that truff spicy mayo. And as you can see, starting off with the base, that homestyle mac and cheese action, what we've got here is a nice little healthy portion that's made with real butter and cream, and then it's topped off with shredded cheese before it's baked to a golden brown. A very lovely combination of goodness, guys. It's looking pretty nice. Off to the side and a la carte, we've got some truff spicy mayo featuring a blend of red jalapenos, the richness of mayo, and the depth of black winter truffles, guys. A pretty decent portion here for a buck, and I have to say, a little goes a long way with this stuff. It's pretty pungent and pretty flavorful. So naturally, whatever it's on is only going to be enhanced by it. But guys, when it comes to mac and cheese, let's snap the fingers and get this going here. And as you can see, a lovely combination of goodness, and I can't wait to give this one a shot. So let's not waste any more time on this one. This is the all-new truff mac and cheese here at Popeye's. Let's peep out this flavor. Yes, sir, some aromatic goodness with this one. The truffle really stands out, guys, and I have to say it overpowers just about everything else that it's on right now, and especially with this mac and cheese here in my car right now. Presentation-wise, it looks good, but I'm not smelling anything except that spicy mayo action from Truff. So let's get this going here, and we'll give this a shot. Combination of that spicy action. I'm kind of expecting a little bit of like buffalo action with this in terms of the heat level maybe, but just to kind of give me a little bit of a zip. Looking pretty nice, fairly al dente on those noodles. As you can see, plenty of cheese, the butter, the cream. Let's give this a shot. It's the all new truff mac and cheese here at Popeyes. Let's peep this out. Mm. Oh, the truffle action, the creamy richness of the cheese. Oh. Flavor explosion, guys. This is really, really delicious right now. Oh my God, that spicy mayo. It's coming through. I'm not really getting too much heat, just a little bit of a sizzle, but man, a little goes a long way. And as you can see, a lovely situation with the amount of denseness and the thickness that I've got with this here right now. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. You know, I had a feeling this wasn't gonna be bad considering the base that we're working with, which is the Homestyle Mac and Cheese, which I actually reviewed Solo Dolo when it first came out, as you're probably seeing on the screen here right now. But guys, when it comes to that spicy mayo action, that is a beautiful combination of richness that I'm getting. And again, very strong in the truffle department, very dense, very delicious, and I'm totally digging the al dente-ness of the noodles. Let's keep going in for a couple more, guys. Pretty tasty. Mmm. That is stick to your ribs type of comfort action right there. Very thick, very hearty. Mm, it's really good. And like I mentioned earlier, a little sure goes a long way with this one, guys. The flavor is absolutely up there. And considering the portion size of this mac and cheese today, I was kind of wondering if this was going to be a little bit more of a ripoff considering the price point. But considering how rich and dense it is, I'm already feeling kind of filled up just with those few bites. So I'm not really hating on it. It is a little on the expensive side, but what you're getting is something very thick, very hearty and it definitely sticks to your bones. A bomb situation. And considering this is the same truff spicy mayo that you can find on the chicken sandwiches over here as well, which again, you're probably seeing up on the screen here right now since I did check out both of them fairly recently, which of course were the breaded variant as well as the blackened. But guys, when it comes to the spicy mayo on their mac and cheese, this is super delicious. So a lovely combination of goodness. And again, very heavy, very dense. And I am totally digging the light crust of the cheese that I'm getting on this here. If I can try and like pull some of this apart, this is very tough for some reason right there. The very back piece anyway. But a lovely situation of goodness here. Let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap up this little quickie review with the rating coming up next. But I'm glad I'm checking this out. I knew it was going to be tasty. And on a semi-rainy day here in Southern Cali right now, this is hitting the spot. Let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap it up. Hang on. Mm. You know, I would have been okay if they just would have put some of this truff spicy mayo on the mac and cheese just by itself, because while I do have a decent amount for a dollar, I'm absolutely gonna be using this for other things. You really don't need a lot of it to really enhance what's already here. And I gotta say, guys, this homestyle mac and cheese is very flavorful on its own, but the combination of the truff goodness definitely elevates it. A beautiful combination of comfort food goodness here, and it's well worth your time to check out. An easy recommendation by far. 
So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the all new Truff Mac and Cheese here at Popeyes a pretty rock solid nine out of 10. Guys, it's a beautiful situation across the board. Although the heat level is a little bit subdued on it, the overall flavor is pretty amazing. And like I said, it's very pungent when it comes to the truffle action, combining that with the cheesy goodness of that homestyle mac and cheese, a bomb situation without a doubt. And if you're a fan of mac and cheese like I am, you already know this is gonna be a pretty lovely situation to go in on. So do give this one a shot, guys. It's worth your time. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the Truff Mac and Cheese over here at Popeyes. And do you think it's some of the best fast food mac and cheese out there? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.